Kyle Gruber being carted off the field as we speak. Reports from the sidelines are that his left kneecap slipped out and it actually went from his knee all the way down to about the middle of his shin. And it's unclear who will replace him in the game right now, but we will get a report as soon as we can. Back up to you guys. Both teams are treating today's game just like the second half of your typical Friday-Sunday matchup. JMU head coach Dave Lombardo said he's been telling his team since the preseason, girls, the CAA championship is going to be won on a Sunday. So they've prepared for every Sunday afternoon game the same way. And on the Hofstra side, Coach Ridioff said his team wouldn't even let him have a team dinner last night because they're so superstitious. And you'll notice him on the sidelines wearing that same pair of khaki shorts that he's worn for every game this season. Most of the time when you think of a soccer family, you're talking about the legends and those that have come before, but that really isn't the case for this St. Augustine team. I was down on the field talking to goalkeeper John Richards, little sister Maria, and she was telling me how she completely looks up to her brother, and as you know, he's the goalie, but she plays center mid, so the two of them practice together, and he has actually taught some of her teammates how to play goal and help them improve, and just listening to her talk about her brother and about the way that she and other younger siblings on the team view their older brothers is really remarkable, especially to see what these young kids can be as role models, even when they're still in high school. Miller Bugliari is a guy who's in his 51st year at the helm for Pingree, and he has over 700 victories in his career. So this is a guy who we can say is a pretty good judge of a winning team. And he told us before the game tonight that if you would ask him back in August what he thought his team's chances of getting to this point in the title game were, he said he would have said 50 to 1 odds. So this is something pretty incredible that Pingree has done, and they're looking to go all the way and win the state championship tonight. Adam Klink getting the start tonight in net for Rutgers, and Coach Dan Donegan said that he was just waiting in the wings and is ready for the opportunity, and it's more that than just Kevin McMillan losing his starting spot. He'll be opposed by Carlos Suarez, on the St. Peter's side and for St. Peter's coach Abramson taking a different approach in warm-ups today interacting with each of his players instead of just letting them do their own thing in hopes that he can get them to start off the game with a little bit more energy than they have been so far this season. For the Princeton Tigers tonight Josh Walburn is questionable. He's yet to play in a game this season because of plantar fasciitis, a back injury, and a toe infection, all of which happened late in the summer. He's only practiced twice, and coach says he'll play at most one half tonight.